In this video, we will show you how to set up your Basin Rover on Emlet's Caster. The first thing you need to do is get internet to your base and your rover. Let's get started. I'll click on settings, go to Wi-Fi, and then click on the relevant receiver. In this case, I'll start with my base. I'll use the password Emlet Reach, say connect. After it's been connected, I'll go to the Reach application and then select the desired unit. As you can see, it's loaded and also it is displaying the status. I'll go to Wi Fi, look for the available networks, and use network of choice. This will either be your office or your home or if it's a SIM card that's inserted into the RS2 or a mobile router, you'll make sure that you connect it in this manner. If you use an internal SIM card, there's another connection. I'll go ahead and type in my password. And press connect. After this, I'll make sure that I do the exact same thing with my rover. I'll click on my rover, type in the password, Emlet Reach, and say connect. Once it is connected, I'll go back to my reach view, click on refresh, and see that the new unit is now displayed. I'll then click on it. And again, the Emlet writing will appear, meaning that it's loaded, and I can go to my Wi-Fi settings again. Click on the same desired network, and then type in the password. Press on Connect. To be able to see the new receivers again, I'll have to make sure that my device is connected to the same network as my two receivers are. Great, as you can see, it picked it up and it is now connected to it. So once I go back and click on refresh, I can see there's my base and there's my robot. Great, I'll click on base. I'll go to base mode, click on enter, and I'll now type in caster.imlet.com. And then my port number will be 2101. And my password for the specific caster. Okay, and my mount point name and I'll go ahead and apply. Before you press apply, please verify that all the information is in fact correct. After doing this, I can now go to my rover and repeat the same steps, only going to correction input. Let's go to the rover. Great. On the rover, I'll go to the correction input, click on enter, type in the same information,
and then go to the port number over here I'll type in my username and my password I'll make sure that my mount point is exactly the same. And I will say send enemy DJ messages and click on apply. As you can see, it says connected to the caster.emlet.com with my mount point. Now, when we go back to status, I can immediately see that there is corrections being sent back and forth. I can see my age of differential, my baseline, and my solution status is already on a fix. This means I can now go ahead and start with my survey. This will allow me to roam approximately 60 kilometers from my base station, still getting an accurate and reliable fix.